Vandals and Vandals, let's just some motherfucking boy facts on wax and right now. You're watching the Vandal Hour Season 3 live on DTFRadio.com. Make sure you check us out each and every Saturday from other... Damn. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, you know, I'll be in the zone. Okay. Hey, yo, peace, Vandals and Vandals, let's yep. just some motherfucking boy facts on wax and right now. You're watching the Vandal Hour Season 3 live on DTFRadio.com. Make sure you check us out each and every Sunday from motherfucking 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah, that's that new time. And you can catch us live on that motherfucking Ustream. You can also catch us live on that tuning app on DTF Radio. But remember, you got to do that when we on live. And for the people who don't know, you can actually check us out right now on our motherfucking website, which is www.thevandalava.nyc. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We making history. Facts. Hey, yo, Mr. 13, what's poppin'? Hey, yo, Facts, you already know what it is. I'm chilling. It's another beautiful night. Yeah. Aye. It's a motherfucking got, hot night. Can y'all yeah, turn it's on the a AC summer I'm night. Sweating. The AC is on, God. The AC is on, God. It's officially the first day of fall, I believe, or the second day. Is it? Yes. Uh, yes. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I, my I still think it's creeping. summertime. But we got a dope show planned for y'all. We got a writer, a super dope writer, goes by the name of Zons in the building. Whoa. He will be chopping it up with us later on today. Yep, yep. Uh, in, t- in addition to that, we have the CEO of Cop My Music coming through. Yes, he is. I think he's downstairs. They hit me up. Um, him and Tuan, the dude, is downstairs already here. So, yeah, they'll be here soon. So, yeah, definitely. Upstairs soon. Listen, it's going to be a movie in a few minutes. Listen in, because we got another classic show for y'all. We haven't been here for a minute, but we back. Yeah, we've been missing in action. Busy. Uh, we got busy, some, not missing in action. We, we just been busy. We got some people sitting in with us today. Yeah. We got the, the host who's always hosting with us here, DJ Swift. A.K.A. Strip Club Swift. Yeah, I'm here, baby. What up, what up? Shout out to my man, Darwin Queens, who's on the camera lens right now. Sniper. Shout out to the um, Vandu Hour Guard, Ray Kill Films, A.K.A. Um, Buffalo Wing, A.K.A. He might smoke all the weed at the <laughs> weed party. Might or will. Inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I wish I would have been there. Somebody was player hating on me and shit. But Damn, I'll yes. be there next time. Yeah, we, we need, you know, on the party still, the party's going to be popping. They always invite us to them to them situations, so we will be there next month. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And, it's going uh, down. Peace. In addition to all these lovely people here, we have a lovely young lady sitting next to us. So Who's that? Honey De Niro. Aye, aye, aye. Look at the haircut. Let's make some noise with that, man. Let's make some noise yeah. in the building. I appreciate I'm that. sitting here at the table, so I can't make the uh, sound effects of the hand. But uh, Mr. Bad. 13 can. Mr. 13, can you? Can you? Gunshot, something. <laughs> come, on, come on. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pardon me. We haven't bust some shots in here in, in, in like two weeks, so we, we, we kind of rusty and dusty right now. I had the checks and balances fly over it. Uh-huh. Good excuse. That's going that's, down this Tuesday. That's, that's, yeah, that's Tuesday. a great excuse. Y'all got bars. Pull up. Yeah. That's right. Lost yeah. art of the world. Have trash. Minute. Stay home. Facts, man. Facts. I will diss you on the mic. I will. Nah, actually, you if you out. trash, you can actually come through, pull up, and learn a history lesson. You could get schooled real quick. Remember, this Tuesday is going down. The Vandal Hour Checks and Balances presents let's the talk, Lost Art of the Wordsmith. Let's talk about that lady, though, man. We have a, a special co-host here. As as um, the brother said, Honey De Niro yes. is in the building. Yes. Making a lot of noise. Yeah, see, yes. Um, <laughs> making a lot of noise on the... Uh, on, uh, um, the the screen um as far as actress and also um on a microphone with these videos these super dope videos she's been putting out you know what i mean i'll be glad to have you here she got some I'm music to too i'm happy to be here thank you well thank you for joining us tonight hi honey Definitely. how you feeling tonight i'm good how are you i'm cooling that's what's up <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up she got the best name. Like, you could just call her Honey, and it could be like, you could literally be right, flirting right. with her, but she won't even take it that way, because she's like, that's my name. That's she's like, <laughs> Honey, he's like, yeah, what up? <laughs> Man, nonchalant. Well, what, what happens when you focus on the, the, the narrow part? Yeah, that's the awesome part. That's that's what follows. Right. That's what follows once you get past the Honey. The money. So you could there just you pull go. up on her. Like, hey, <laughs> so if you're trying to kick it, so you could pull up on her, like, hey, yo, Honey, let's go get this the narrow. Boom. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, yo, y'all niggas got to come up with your own pickup line. Don't steal my <laughs> <laughs> copywritten. Well, um, we glad to have you here, man. Um, I'm wanting you here because you are involved in uh, the Vanduawa and Checks and Balances, the Lost Art of the Wordsmith event. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you are one of the headlining acts. Nice. Okay. I can't wait. I'm very excited. I hate I missed the last one. Yes, so. oh, I forgot about that, but um, everything happens for a reason, man. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> 
but you and you and this um um this month this tuesday um what should a person who never um seen you perform or or do what you do what should they be expecting from a honey de Niro performance don't ex well they should expect not what they see if that makes sense it does expect the unexpected yeah nice yeah okay. expect the unexpected that's right <laughs> you see how i'm talking right now you won't get that so. all right Oh, it's more it's, energy. It's, more it's a energy. different, it's a whole different, I'm a whole different person. Okay. So you say you she's keeping that real quiet. She's basically saying personality. you got to come out and see her yeah. to understand what she's yeah. talking about right now. You got to come yeah. and see her. Like right now, she's innocent, but when she's on the stage, she naughty. Yeah. <laughs> she's like Beyonce. Yeah, you get in the honey part, but the, like the, the, the Niro, that, that's a know, showmanship. Yeah. That's a showman. Okay. Exactly. Y'all going to learn today. Well, also, man, you're involved with um, a, a person who was on the Vandal Wawa also by the name of Ella G. Mm -hmm. You're on his web series called In a New York Minute? Yeah, New York Minute. New York Minute. Um, tell us about that, man. New York Minute is about um, three friends who grew up together. One just came home, two still out there in the street, you know, doing their thing. And... Um, the one that just came home, he's trying to, you know, he, he's been, he's trying to cool out. But he's faced with so many obstacles, you know, coming home and having to deal with wifey and possibly baby mama and the street stuff, you know, life, period. He's trying not to go back to that. The other boy, his man's is like, come on, you know how we used to give it up? Let's, let's get back to it. You know, other people are like, yo, you need to get back to it. Other people still got issues with him from before. So it's about this one brother who's really trying to, you know, he's trying to change. But Kirk can relate to that. It's, yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, and then there's other parts. His, his girl, she, he was gone for a long time. So what's she supposed to do? Yeah. You know, I play the main character. Um, I play her best friend. So I give it to her straight like it is. Tola. You moving a little thottish, my like you can't nice. do that. So they need more of that in the street. So, that's, so that's you know the example. secrets. You know the secrets. I know the secrets, and I'm like, yo, you playing yourself. That's not how we we move. You right, know? right. So I'm real excited for season two because my character. You see more of my character. I'm excited to see how my character is gonna be. You know, because I'm straightforward with it. You that's know, right. Get that I good dialogue like check. It is, but um, you know. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I don't even know yet, so. So you, you played that, uh, I was did some research here. And mm -hmm. You play a character named Benny. Mm -hmm. And your motto is kiss him, then shoot him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my motto. Okay, kiss so I, shoot like, explain I, that. Explain that to Cause me. I'm sitting too close to someone right. talking like that. <laughs> and, and she mad quiet, she might just do it. Um, kiss him and shoot him is like, it's like Honey De Niro, it's the quiet storm. It's an oxymoron. Mm. You know, I could be sweet, yeah. but fuck around. I mean, and that's just me in real life. Mm. Mess around, and I could be another kind of person. Mm. Gotcha. So you either want me to kiss you, or you want me to handle my business right. on that other end. You know, I think you would rather me kiss you than, yeah. than it to be friction. She's that chick that'll stab you and turn the knife. <laughs> and yeah. then kiss you. Now, um, Again. Mm. <laughs> what's the sour, what's the sour, what's the sour uh, commercial, the sour bear commercials? Which <laughs> the, the <laughs> sour and oh, oh, the sour kids, the <laughs> sour patch kids, when the, and sour and sweet. Yeah, it kind of yeah. blow up your spot, and then they want to be nice to you. Like yeah. here you go. Um, you use a lot of these oxymorons. You have something called lipstick and bullets. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us a little bit about Kiss that. Kiss them and shoot them. Yeah. Um, it's the bittersweet part of um, we don't really see a story about a female MC trying to you know make it in this game. Um you know, relationship issues, family issues, and then it's the issues in this industry, you know? So, um, like, you know, we all cool here, so, mm. you know, I'm gonna be pleasant with you, but I'm a different kind of monster when it comes to business. I'm a different kind of monster when it comes to the people I love and music I really love, you know? I really love that. So you threaten that, then it's gonna be a problem. So lipstick and bullets is that kiss them, then, then shoot them, you know? So you're gonna get, 
You're going to get some classic hip hop. You're going to get some content. Oh, that shit just made me come up with it. You're going to get some content. <laughs> but you're going to get a lot of street Boxes stuff. Bangers, like, looking bro. at me, you, you're not, you, you wouldn't, I've been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? And I talk about it all. You know, sexual abuse, selling drugs, avoiding prison time, you know, but you wouldn't you think oh she went to school and she got a good job and she's trying to do music yeah that too but then there's the other side to that i wasn't thinking that with the camouflage on <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking war guns <laughs> killing war, people yeah, you yeah. know that's what's going through my mind but I'm, i hear you i mean i mean so as i being your album that's your album project right mm -hmm, if i'm not mm -hmm. mistaken um so with that is that more or less like because you see a lot of the women that, that are in the industry coming in either they're going with a, a sexual content or they're going with a full hardcore, I'm just like one step behind a man. Mm -hmm. So you like it sounds like you're giving them more of a what a lady, you know what I'm saying, a woman's perspective, you know, like like in actual lyrics, you're giving them content and then showing them how to act. I mean, I'm just that's what I got. Yeah, I mean, because that's 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 how I am. Um, I think a lot of times women are forced to be one way right one dimension and you know with the way the industry is now internet you can be whoever you want whoever you want to be or whoever right. you are i'm gonna be who i am right you know so you get the i'm very ladylike but i will punch you in your face Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, you know what i'm saying right. so and then understanding that this is a male driven world or Man, male driven do that shit with those rings on <laughs> Listen, that's a whole nother story. We're not gonna talk about that. Maybe another time, and nice. I'm gonna bring you evidence. But that's a whole nother story. Oh, hey, oh she got evidence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she got evidence. My type of I talk. My type of talk. Favorite ring. So yeah, that's a whole nother story. But I, I feel like we're forced to not be totally who we are. Right. So I try to be. I'm gonna be who I am in music. I'm going to portray that on screen, whether in videos or movies. I'm just not going to let someone box me in. Right. So. Well, I, have, I have a question. I mean, I have uh, something I want to throw out there. You might not know, but um, she's involved in uh, having a photo shoot with a magazine called Smoke Magazine. I already now, like it. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm going to say this. Is unanimous with the Vanduawa guards because we are all pro ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I always say this is unanimous. But if y'all didn't see um, the Smoke Magazine sh um, photo shoot, I advise y'all to make sure you yet. follow Honey De Niro. Facts. <laughs> yeah. It but must be good. Damn. She did that scratch I think, of the think, nose that girl I think, I think, you I know think, they caught. I, I think you'll see it would be interesting. The, no. old, the old Fox would like it. Fox 2.0, like I'm a changed person. Like before, like I used to bag mad girls. I used to be some like what people would call a womanizer, but I don't even want to be that type of nah, thing. Right. Not, but this is what I'm saying is, and this is, uh, this is, this is for with girlfriends or without girlfriends. Uh -huh. I didn't say nothing crazy. What I said was, I think y'all should look at her page <laughs> and the magazine shoot, mm -hmm. and I think that y'all will find it very interesting. <laughs> only, a, only a person that's not like us, I want to go into no, you know, denominations, <laughs> will not find that interesting. Yo, shout you know, out to Kel Smoke Magazine. Nice. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the Smoke <laughs> Magazine photo right. shoot. He <laughs> oh, don't blush now. Yeah, I'm, I have to. <laughs> That's, Damn, that's, it's like that. That's, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to talk about. We're, um, I will show you that on during a break. Okay. <laughs> um, he 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 gets me out of my element. You know, I'm used to if I'm gonna be in that way with my with my guy. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of brings he he's 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 allowed me to pull the sexy out with some skin. You know, I could do sexy, just, you know, regular, you know, but he... You're on a version of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is different. Smoke Magazine is different. Hey, I'm used to seeing girls I mean, come outside with crop tops. You got on a fishnet top. Well, yeah. I didn't even notice that. But I have a wow. jacket on over right, it. Right, right, right. It's, it's tastefully done. Yeah, for you. those that's not watching and just listening, is she looks very tastefully done. Thank, thank you, you for uh, allowing me. I've been so, like, focused in the, on this show that I wasn't paying attention <laughs> to my surroundings. <laughs> I feel, plus, I can't see anyway. That's right. So, but 
Matthew Max don't have his glasses on. I don't got my glasses on, but thanks for allowing me to know that too. (laughs) No, Smoke Magazine is is different. It's a different element. I'm trying to get used to it. He has to coach me. Nikki coaches me, but he, like, once he does what he did, does with the picture and I like it because he doesn't it's not a whole lot of Photoshop so you won't like talk you was real skinny with a big old butt and <laughs> big old titties so they get the real you and not no catfish right 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 um Vanuawa is is anti-catfish we yeah. stopped watching the show because we was catfish to California by Bobby so yeah. we are anti-internet oh. cat we, 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 we got catfish with business and still made it pop, but that person is Catfish Bobby. Yeah, He's cat, still looking for you. Catfish Bobby, go to the hashtag if y'all if y'all follow the yeah, band. Gordon that Fisherman out. will find you. That out. <laughs> yeah, so um, sidebar. So it's really you. It's really it's you. It's really me. It's really me. It's really me. He does a good job. I'm not busting it wide open, so don't look for that. I'm not gonna <laughs> do that. But <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. We'll see some skin. You know, maybe a little nip <laughs> or two. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Everybody and, like and a nip we slip. To be, and we try to be creative with it. That yeah. shit just made me think of some funny shit, right? Yesterday, I was coming home from community service. And <laughs> Sidebar. Yeah. I was, I was writing on some shit I wasn't supposed to. I looked at the floor. I never do that, right? I pick up a phone. I go home. I check this shit, and I found mad nudes in this shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> mad sidebar. That's like, that's like finding a treasure chest. Right. <laughs> Something like that. Not if they're bad nudes. Nah, they wasn't bad. Like, some of them, like, one of them I got pissed off because, like, shorty in the mirror naked and her kid in the background. Like, that shit reminded me of IG (laughs) me. But, hey, yo, if I ever find you, I'm going to give you your phone back because I don't want it. Yeah, um, (laughs) what you call it, man? Um, You know, there's a lot of shit going on if you've been watching the news. Hurricanes. Um, This It's, like, hurricane season. And uh, on the tenth power, Puerto Rico right now is being heavily affected by by this situation. I think it's a hundred percent. The energy is out. Yeah, it's been out. They won't have no energy for like three to six months. Three to six months. I, my, my brother lost his house actually. Oh wow! Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. He was telling me that it just completely gone. The brother that I met? No, no, no. My my brother who lives in Puerto Rico. How you get in contact <laughs> with him? <laughs> How you get in contact with him? Like a lot of people having problem with their phones. He, nah, he got me on um, Facebook. Oh, all right. How they he got landlines. They got landlines. They got. They set up some cell towers already. Oh, they did. Yeah. They, okay. They send in some first responders. They got some energy in like some part of like San Juan. I heard, but it's gonna take a lot of time to get the rest of the item back up. So. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause is it still hot over there? Yeah, yeah no, we were talking about it. It's hot and wet. The real problem it comes after the storm when all the water's there and, and it's hot and you got diseases. And, yeah. Like, yeah. You got Zika. You, you know, oh, that, yeah. that shit can multiply. Since it's oh, cold. wow. So And then people don't have power. They, they're stealing. They're running, I heard they're running around wow. robbing people for like power generators and, yeah. food, and food. Let me get that, fool. Yeah. Yo, so, get out of here. All the spots are like, there. Real in the field right now. Yo. Dangerous. And not only all, all that food is going bad, so they got to get yeah. it from somewhere. So if p- those people who weren't prepared, three to six months with no energy, that's a serious situation. Some of those people are going to turn to the chupacabra and they're going to start eating people. I got a question, actually. Like, why y'all think hurricanes is always named after a female? Now nah, we had one called Harvey. Yeah, they had a Harvey Jose. came and went, but every time you hear about a hurricane, it's always named out for nah, a female. Like we had Puerto Rico got hit with Irma, Jose, and Maria. That, yeah, that, someone got caught cheating out in sea. Har- Harvey put yeah, and it's sad because every time up, I kept uh, hearing Houston. Maria, I was thinking about the song Maria, <laughs> Maria. No, not that one. The Maria. Oh, the new one. <laughs> That song. I don't um, know it's an old one. school song. It's an old school song. He said, I don't know that one. It's an yeah. old school song. I only know the Carlos Santana one, Maria I, Maria. That's what I thought of the Maria it's Maria. But word. Well, I hear Maria. I think I'm with Jackson 5. But I'm just going to say this, yeah. though. Um, yeah, she's yeah. like, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I do know that one. <laughs> but I was going to say this, man. Um, why do these all these hurricanes, or why do you think all these hurricanes happen around the same time? I know this hurricane season, but what causes hurricane season? Well, I mean, I it's, think it's the temperature of yeah. the waters. Yeah. The water. Yeah, that's when yeah. It, it, it. I think it's like cross with the heat and like it's just natural. Some it's people, natural some thing. people p- would say that weather is 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 being manipulated. Yeah. No, no, no. The the, so the, the, the the strength of it, the strength of it, because it's a, it's automatically going to happen every year. This is accounted for it's annually. It, it happens, but worse. the strength of them is crazy because you have in category five, category four, category four, and if you look in the history books, 
the consistency that they're coming at now was never like that right. you know the only one that made sense was was the earthquake for for mexico that was the only one that was like a hundred years ago this is the anniversary and it happened again you know but the rest of all these other hurricanes the tornadoes the the, the earthquakes those are a lot of these things that's why people are saying they're man-made is because you got category five when usually it'd be a two or three or not even that severe you know but then you got like a storm coming in and then you got one coming in the following week that's like the same magnitude it's crazy i can that believe that there's some type of manipulation with it yeah i can believe that so you think I it's mean, more behind the science manipulation or global warming or you it's, manipulation. it's all that added to it because that's what makes it speculation it's easy to make it speculation talk because if you do it when it's normal season time no one's gonna say oh well right. this this ain't gonna happen now if it would have happened in like december when there's no hurricanes that's obvious pointing out a situation but if you do it during during hurricane season or whatnot no one could really say oh no it wasn't just a natural effect right. you know i mean just for talk nigga in the bible it says when summers become winters and winters become summers but i'm not i didn't i'm not into the bible i'm just saying that's what it said that's some bugged out two hundred thousand years ago <laughs> right you know there's what i mean some truth to it you know, but I mean, it's do, obvious. How that dude know what the fuck was going a, on two thousand years ago? Like, I, ask uh, the people who lived on Atlantis what happened. To right, them. right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying though, it's, it's just crazy, hey. man. There's a lot of things going on, man. Okay. Um, I think DTF has some type of um, collection going on for for um, the people of, in these places. I don't want um, if you go to DTF Radio Instagram page. Um, there's many um, promos on bringing foods and different um, health products. Help bring clothes, canned yeah, foods, canned foods, pampers. and all this stuff. Um, you can bring it to DTF Radio, which is located at 20 Grand Avenue um, between Flushing Ave and Park Ave. Um, they're doing a collection. Um, for more information, go to the page, as I said. But have y'all been um, watching these memes and shit on this boy? Kevin Hart, man. Y'all seen the one on You're 50's stupid. page of that video? <laughs> I ain't gonna let no groupie a start. Me, I call the <laughs> FBI on you. Yeah, you <laughs> showed me that meme you earlier today. You think my wife today. gonna leave me? You think she boo-boo the fool? <laughs> I, I gotta tilted. definitely check that one out, man. But, like, this dude, do you believe in this extortion? I don't know. No, I will. They, they have a, a video of it. It didn't come out, but it definitely happened. I mean, he didn't get extorted, but they definitely got a video of him. I see on the news that the girl was speaking. Yeah. Um, I watched her speak. As a matter of fact, I, I seen with my own eyes, I seen her speaking, and she was like, um, um, the sexual thing did happen, and she wasn't trying to extort nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she she lawyered up. And um, she know those charges are coming. They were saying it was other people. Indictment. It was other people around, too. It was like a, another female and maybe someone else. Was around, so I don't know. No, they, I mean, they, you put yourself yeah, in that, that position in the first place. He, Shouldn't he, have put yourself he, he in that position. Two, two chicks. He had two chicks. They said in the hotel. <laughs> Yo, that <laughs> nigga crazy. Did you see his wife? She's bad. But it's not just him. It's not on him. It's on them too. Don't put yourself in that position. I I, I can agree. Don't put yourself. But the thing about it is, don't film it. If you know you don't want it to come out, you're not trying to get no money out of it. You just want to be. I you just wanted a moment with the dude, then just do that. Don't. They said I don't he should have did a Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle had people check their phones. Oh they yeah. They got these gadgets where you could check your phone. You put your phone like in the sleeve. Yeah, in the bag. Thing, yeah. Locks. And during his shows, you have to do that because they want you to live in a moment because everything is like this. So yeah. That's you crazy. Did that well, and sign non disclosure. Well, credit. I'm gonna say this: even Martin Luther King was caught with some bitches in a hotel. Yeah. So yeah. so it happens to the best of them. But, you know, but the thing is, I when mean, you are like, an entertainer, shit like that do happen, groupies. But that happen. happen. That only happens if you want it to happen. At no. the end of the day, you if you that powerful of a person where you got people that have to answer to you, all you got to say is no groupies in my room. I know. I'm gonna say this, man. I think um, because these people, when they are nobody, they are not getting this type of attention and and love, right? So what happens is a lot, and I'm, this is just a theory. A lot of these important people, I believe, they sick hounds on them. What I mean by that is, 
You real, you Michael Jackson and shit. You chilling. Yeah. You known as a weirdo. You're not touching no kids, but you known as a weirdo. You know what I mean? And you chilling and, and go in the bathroom and a chick just coming behind you and just start grabbing on your on your shit. Like a lot of them fall victim to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and I'm not, and I'm saying that not that not that, that the woman is wrong, but people are sending like people in power be wanting shit on dudes. So. You know, they say, I believe they send people to like truly seduce these men. Oh, yeah. I and and a lot too. of them for Obama is, is you know, you got to give a, a lot of props and respect to Obama because he was never caught in a scandal. So Court. that's that's and Court is the yeah, that's the gunshots, right? <laughs> listen, listen. So is the you're not word. in trouble until someone tells on you, okay? Right. So it, 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 you got to prove it happened. Did you see it? Right. Did you see it? No, but I don't know what you're talking about. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, listen, listen. She looked like she got a mean body shot and an uppercut. All right, because she looked like she'll catch you in bed with some high grits. Ah, I got you. I watch. I, I watch. No, I, I watch Tyler. people head. No, nah, son. Tyler Perry already did that. I'm not doing anything. All right. Al right? Green got grits on him. You but know, now you. But go. now you putting like in Vandal bitches head. Like nah. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hey, yo, ladies. Whatever Swift just said, don't listen. That's nah, right. I'm all about the strip club. Don't hit me up on official honey De Niro. No, I'll tell no, you how to get away no. with it. Lipstick and bullets. Put in shade. Shade. <laughs> we gotta put shade on that. Kissing and shoot him. <laughs> Yo, man. Um, Instagram has been like on fire lately, man. Um, I, I wasn't paying attention to this story, man. But it's crazy because my one of my friends that work in a barber shop, he they know we, what we do, and a lot of people be throwing like topics towards me on a regular basis. Shout out to um Brian a barber, and he wanted me to speak about this 17 year old girl who was found uh, in a freezer. Yeah, that was so crazy. he forced me to watch like I I, I wasn't like. I was four days past not knowing about nothing, and like he he forced me to watch it. And coincidentally, the next day they found uh, they showed they put out a video of this girl walking into the freezer um, by herself. But she, she, wait, she actually walked into no, it, let me or, or they have a staggering? I got I saw caught up. I got caught up in in it on YouTube and all these conspiracy theories. They're trying to say that there was other people that was helping her go into this freezer, but they they um photoshop them out or whatever oh like off the video clip off yeah the video clip that it looks like she's being drugged into the video then they were saying that she had like a double like a stunt double you know if you go into any hotel that there somebody is going to see something a worker somebody at the front desk or anything they were saying no one saw anything then there's a video of a woman walking out with a child now three four o'clock in the morning i didn't really quite understand that but there's so many holes and questions and theories surrounding this young girl it's just sad that i heard the freezer was in a basement it was I'm trying yeah to figure it was out. what downstairs. the fuck she was going to the first thing yeah. that her home girl sold her for 200 dollars to some kids yeah yeah some boys and they almost ruined the kids lives. Her best friend at that they put the pictures of the boys on facebook like these are the three boys that raped her yeah, in Chicago. She got this raped. is all happening in Chicago. Yeah, she got raped. She I got um, warfare. she she was drugged. She she was she looked drugged. She was raped. She was sold by her her alleged friends, and they have video of her just staggering around the hotel, I'm which a, which makes no sense because, like, let's be for real. That's a high crime area. You know, we're talking about Chicago. Just you right. know of talk. And then you're gonna tell me you're gonna see a drunk, a, a staggering or drunk girl just walking past staff all night right you know what i'm saying like like I how she's just going all I through mean, that i've been in hotels at night there's not much staff in there that is yeah, true sometimes there's one here. person at the front desk but if, if you know that there's if, a party if they're there they went there i believe it was a for a party it was like, a party, like the party yeah. was at the hotel it wasn't like they came from a party right. i'm gonna say this i watched the video man that shit is like the blair witch project yeah. That yeah. Like, it's it's yeah. like watching a movie you looking at ghost fingers yeah. in the elevator yeah it's crazy man i can see how like america is so like mesmerized by this the death of this young black girl man you it's, it's crazy it's crazy in the video mm -hmm. people running up the steps behind her all kinds of crazy stuff she walked from when she got on the elevator walked through the hallway all the way down past the front desk around the corner down the steps into the with and nobody area. at the front desk seen this nobody no nothing so where they was at Basically, 
No one was doing their job that night. Everybody got, got that tip off. The hotel staff is in on it. Like, it's some crazy. Yeah, I heard her friend worked in a hotel. Yeah, it's some crazy. It's, it's weird. Sound man. like Ocean's Eleven. I mean, I, I'm. I just. I've been to hotels in different cities. Not, yeah, so have I. And but. there's usually one person at the front desk. The rest of the staff is not really there, and that person they sometimes is fucking. not even at the front desk. Sometimes you gotta call them. Yeah. To come. So. That's because they be in the hotel rooms themselves. It's but it was so possible. many people in that room. Well, they for said the that, they, part that what happened was they went downstairs. They were all leaving. Some people left, and then the rest of them they went back upstairs because they left something. They said, and when they came back, she was gone. So they didn't know where she went. Supposedly, she went and stumbled off and put herself into the freezer. What kind of friends leave you? Crazy. <laughs> for the people that might not Shitty be familiar. friends. Yeah. For the people that might not be familiar with this part of the show, but this is when we get into. The Big Lowers News. Yeah. Facts on Wax got an announcement. For, oh, yeah. For our, for, our, for our viewers, man. I don't usually do art. Like, I haven't did art in a minute, but everybody be on my back like my shirt. Like, yo, facts, do some art, do some art. So guess what? On November 22nd, I got a motherfucking art show popping with my motherfucking friends. You heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts on wax. Some of the people you could see in that shit is my man, June 457, no rainbow. You could also see my nigga, Reaps. (laughs) To see other people, you got to come out and witness history. That shit will be bananas. Yeah, November 22nd, come out to... The um, Karma Lounge, it will be lit. Our dope ass art show is going to yeah. be it's going to be presented in a way that you've never s- seen art presented. It's going to be de- definitely. I know some of y'all expecting me to do pornos, but I don't draw that shit no more. I'm waving. <laughs> I'm waving. It's, it's definitely yeah. going to be an out the box show. Also, on November fifteenth, man, um, you definitely got to get the gunshots ready for this. Yeah. On November fifteenth, the Vanuawa anniversary takes place at Karma Lounge. Yeah. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah. We still banging. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. I just was smoking. I don't know what's gonna happen. They ain't planning it yet. We are gonna have but, a good night. But the day is the date is locked down. It's happening. 15th November. I want to tell you like this. All our anniversary parties have been Pop! off the hook. You niggas done fought in our shit, oh. and the yeah. party did not stop. It nope. continued. We Let me just say that. That don't happen nowhere else. Where you see a fight, one-on-one, niggas shoot the five, niggas go to the separate corners, and the party still goes on. So, shout out battles. to... Yeah. I didn't have a performance going on while Ash was getting whipped. Yo, we had battles. We had freestyle freestyle battles, dance battles, DJ battles, uh, actual fights now. Um, <laughs> yeah, what else? It's been we, crazy. We, we, we've had food. We've had edibles. We've had... I mean, you... Let's just say our anniversary parties is like one to look forward to. Yes. Make sure you jot that down. Lock it in your iPhone, your Samsung, and your Obama phone. Make sure you lock that hey, in. Hey, I got an LG. We, we will. Oh, I'm my iPhone. <laughs> Yo. And for the people who don't know, we got two shooters in the building, so they're going to be in the building. A lot of this shit going to get recorded, and y'all can uh-huh. look at that on the motherfucking vandal I want to see, you heard? Uh-huh. But right now, I want to have a moment of silence. The graph game, we lost two heavy hitters. One of them goes by the name of Acne, Death Coat. The other one, he used to murder queens. He goes by the name of Evil E. Can we have a moment of silence for them, please? And uh, Scan 156 passed yeah, away. Yeah, Scan 156 also. You know how we do. Um, let off the facts. No, the the. Yeah, that's a tradition that we um for the fallen soldiers in our culture um that pass that passed on. Um, shout out to Acne, Evil E, and Scan One Five Six, man. Um, shout out to Team Paradise Plus. Oh. Shout out to Daisy. Shout out to the whole One Five Six family. All right. Um, Real yeah. quick, I just want to say a big personal shout out to Evil E's family. I, I g- actually grew up with the kid. I knew Evil E from Sunnyside. We all grew up together. I watched him as a young kid come up. And um, I just want to say uh, just my condolences to his family and let everybody know, yo, I see y'all out there in Sunnyside. I see a lot of y'all hurting over him. So um, just hold your heads, everybody out there. That's a fact. Facts. Keep your head up. Um. Got to switch the momentum. Um, this Tuesday, man. It's going down. Energy. Um, checks and balances. The Vandal Hour presents the Lost Art of the Wordsmith Showcase event at Karma Lounge. 
Um, we, got a, we got a lot of things going on, man. Liddy. September 26th, Karma Lounge. I'm going to repeat it again. Karma Lounge, Karma Lounge, Karma Lounge. 26. Yes, 26. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be something to remember. We got Honey De Niro performing. Hey. Um, we have Greaseball Activities performing. Hey. We have Team Gig, who's affiliated to Red Cafe performing. Hey. Um, we have my man Mad Makeup performing. Oh. Um, and we got I, I I'm forgetting somebody, but um, we have the dude Debonair performing. We have a lot of participants performing. Debonair is one of the participants. Um, we have a lot of DJ DJ Swift will be doing his That's right. his thing as usual. My right hand man. Um, That's right. I'm in the building. Strip club, strip club Swift, and it won't be no strip strippers there. I'm still <laughs> trying to get them there, but they complain about always having to go to work. Everybody, everybody has a, a everybody has a couple of AKAs in here. Yeah, and one of his, and which is the main one that everybody knows, is Strip, strip club, club Swift. Swift. Tell them why they call you call you Strip Club Swift. Because I work in, I've worked in almost every strip club in Queens. <laughs> Some in Brooklyn, and now I'm doing the city. Okay. So I'm getting around to these strip clubs. Okay. And I'm coming for y'all out of state, too. I got a little thing for y'all. So if y'all was ever chilling around Swift and y'all was wondering why he smelled like fish, now y'all know. Oh, hey, oh, yo, sorry. That is never the case. Uh, that is never the case. Hey, yo, some of those strip clubs, it be hot. You can't tell me that nah, shit don't nah, smell it like it be funky in there. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, I'm not even hey, going to front. It be, it, it be hot, but it's never that around is, me, man. Never around me. That explains nah. your radio voice. Coming <laughs> <laughs> back to the stage. Yeah, nah, nah. Real, real talk, real talk. I, I got to say this. I did a baby shower, and I was announcing the gifts, and my boy had to pull me inside. I was like, yo, dude, you sound like you're calling girls to the stage. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm she a red. I'm a red. I'm a friend. She got pampers from Marie. Marie <laughs> gave her some pampers. And I was like, damn, I got to stop this. I was like, yo, I got to start doing more parties. So hit up DJ Swift if you're looking for a DJ for a regular party, clubs, lounges, bars. I do all those two besides strip clubs. He's the only guy that walks into the strip club and gains money and doesn't lose it. So That's you know that's true he's the venue our guard <laughs> yeah. you don't know how we do so but this is um now i'll bring, I'll bring you out honey denaro one day now this weekend vandals flexing i was walking down the motherfucking block in brooklyn and i bumped into kids ris mta doing his motherfucking thing in the streets i also seen a lot of maniacs tearing up the motherfucking east coast right now you got motherfucking less on a comeback this nigga's killing platforms your niggas never know what he's up to also seen ochre and i heard he was banned from new york but he's out here causing mayhem alongside motherfucking dustin mca and i don't know how he's still running the streets but that nigga's tan the mca a new asshole and like he's actually living up to his motherfucking crew name i state facts now if your niggas want to be featured in vandals flexing y'all gotta really paint some hot shit in the street because i'm tired of taking pictures of the usual suspects and if y'all niggas feel y'all got what it is to be a vandals flexing y'all can send a picture to my phone if you got my number if you don't got my number then i mean i left you in the past if you got anybody in my motherfucking room's number, then you can send them a picture. If you got our email and our Gmail number, or uh, those shits that I just told y'all, y'all can send pictures. <laughs> and remember, <laughs> it got to be some hot shit. If it's some toy shit, we going to throw it in a trash can, so Facts. don't even waste your time. You might get your feelings hurt. Deletion. Now, in regular news, that dude Anthony Weiner, he just don't know how to keep his wiener in his pants. Uh, He's in trouble is, again? Yeah, I seen him on the front page again. This Good one, God. Oh, it, it said Weiner something. Like, the caption was crazy. Yeah, he's the only politician that stay getting in trouble but doesn't lose his job. Nah, he, yeah, he, he just nah, gets demoted to, to another position. He just gets demoted to another position. They trying to lock him up. Uh, he keeps showing his now. wiener, and he's going to be on a farm full of them. I think his, his wife left him, too. And she should have by now. Yeah, she did. I can see that happening. She did, but she was, she was begging the courts for mercy on him, though. At like, first, no, no, she was she'd be a, a loyal chick. But Hillary then. Clinton was trying to blame his wiener for losing the election. <laughs> oh God. His, his wife was her political advisor. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that nigga's always trying to put his wiener in some buns. She don't do well with, with wieners at all, whether it's hers or somebody oh. else's. <laughs> <laughs> She's no good at hey, all. Yo, this nigga Donald Trump. He's motherfucking reckless. I can't wait till they impeach him and get him out the office. Can we bring Obama back, please? <laughs> Somebody said no. No? Nah, but Trump is an asshole. Trump is an asshole, man. He Certified. Is. He called for the firing of all NFL players. He, he called them sons of bitches. He called the NFL players sons of bitches for kneeling and protesting the whole That's crazy. shooting of uh, innocent black men. LeBron. Yeah, he's wild. LeBron. And, I mean, it's amazing that, that he does that in the same week that he calls out 
North Korea yeah. and calls him Rocket He's Man. He's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. Yeah. In front of the UN at that. Not even just on, in, in tweets, but he actually said it in front of the whole UN delegation. I, I would like to say... Uh, did you see I the one that was like was it was an African country and one guy was asleep, the, the other guys was laughing at him while he was talking. Oh, yeah, no, nah, he gets yeah, no like, respect like, from anybody. Nobody uh, takes no him serious. President him. Mugabe, he was saying that um, um, Trump is the return of the imperial Goliath and that they will, that they will meet him if they need to. That's crazy. Yeah, he keep so. running his mouth. I guess it's going down. But hey, yo, check this shit out. It was like fun talking about all this regular news and shit. Yo, but check this out. Before we go, facts, I gotta say a farewell to Mello, who was oh. recently traded to OKC. Good luck, and Mello. Yo, it was, <laughs> it, it was good having you, Mello. Good luck on your new team, brother. Word, man. Before all the other Knicks, Knicks fans go ham, because they've been going crazy all day today, um, on on Instagram. Like everybody been voicing their thing about him, so. Good luck with that dude on his new ventures. They mad at him, like the Knicks. They ain't never gonna get no motherfucking ring. All, us, all us New Yorkers, we gonna die trying to watch that ring happen. But check this shit out. On another note, we about to take a motherfucking short music break with DJ Swift, and when we come back, we got a motherfucking Bronx Palmer in the building. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We about to make history, Noka. Hey, yo, Swift, do your thing. Yo, peace, man, dudes, and fans who learn tonight. Y'all motherfucking looking at the Vandal Hour live on DTFRadio.com. And it's the new time, 12 to 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Tonight in the motherfucking building, we got a Bronx bomber who goes by the name of Zons. And he gonna be telling y'all his story. And all y'all gotta do is shut the fuck up, look at the screen, and listen. <laughs> hey, yo, Zons, what's poppin'? Tell the Yo-ray, people how you, you feeling know, tonight. Dragon, man. Zons in the motherfucking building, B. SM in the building. TSK yeah, in the building. Yeah, 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 I need a hundred yeah. gunshots, though, man. Yeah, yeah, Where the yeah, gunshots yeah. at, B? Zons, Zons, the motherfucker went out there, man. It's a big pack, four line bombers. Me and the You? Huh? Yeah. Gang shit, you heard? How you feeling tonight? I'm cooling my guy, you know. You pay attention to basketball and all that shit? Yeah, I love basketball. Baby. How you how you feel about the Knicks trade and mellow? I wasn't really paying attention to that. I'm really a Pacers nigga. I see my son Paul George go over there to the Thunders. I'm like, hold on, what's going on with that? I seen some pictures. Yeah, that's how I seen that shit, Mello. I seen that shit on the gram and shit. New yeah, York I'm really is mad right Mello now. At, at really keep it tall, B. I could dig it, I could dig it. Now, what y'all think about this shit that Donald Trump is talking about? You think his mouth is reckless and they should get him out of office? That's a big fact. A long time ago. We ain't even trying to hear that. That's the fact, man. This nigga's talking nonsense, Fleet. That's definitely a fact. And what you think about these hurricanes? Like, they coming through fucking shit up and leaving. Oh, man, them shit is man-made, cuz. We ain't hearing that, man. Niggas, guys, niggas is woke over here, cuz. We not hearing none of that. Facts. It's wicked, though. But shout out to everybody that's in them hurricanes and shit, man. Shout out to y'all families, babe. You got any family members in these tropical places? Um, yeah, to be honest, over there in DR and shit. So shout out to the fam over there and shit. It's a little wicked, you feel me? So everybody going through these trials and these tribulations. Everybody keep your head up. And to the people that's actually out there donating shit, I salute y'all. And to all the people that's out there trying to get their money up off this shit, fuck y'all. That's a big fact. Word. <laughs> now! What was it that sparked your motherfucking flame and made you want to pick up the can? Man, I don't even know where to get started at. Flame from the four line. Shit's wicked over there, you feel me? See a lot of guys go crazy. See my guy Star go crazy. Man, it's too many niggas on the four line. Shout out to my nigga Dent, man. My nigga Dent was going crazy when I was young, man. See a lot of shit on the four, you feel me? So there's a couple things. And my pops, he right, you feel me? TS5, I mean, he on some TC5 shit, okay. TK, so you feel me, he really bomb, IBM. Okay, he down with a few classical crews. Yeah, that's a big fact. Shout out to my man, um, Rest up, Uptown and shit, he got the um, tattoo shops, man. That's what it is, that's what it is. That's TK Prez. Yeah, man, when you first got into writing, what did your friends say? I mean, we wasn't even really worried about what nobody's saying, you feel me? I'm from the projects, we don't care what nobody's saying. It's not saying. even what his friends say, it's what your family said. Like, friends, like, they gonna salute you, like, yeah, pick the can up, go paint. But, like, what your family members think when they found out that you do grab? I mean, I got booked, you feel me? Nigga got an ass whooping and all that, like, whatever the case is for Mom Dukes, but nigga ain't never stopped. Like, but your, your pops were cool with it, because he's... Dead yeah, he was day. cool with it. That's why Mom Dukes was always blaming pops, like, you got him into <laughs> this bullshit, you feel me? Yeah. I ain't never stopped, niggas like 
like going on 12 years with this shit, you feel me? Okay, that's You, you ever went bombing with your pops? Nah, I haven't been bombing my pops. I be in the V and shit. I be like, yo, pop, look at my shit over there on the Amtrak. He be like, he be laughing and shit, Flip. Nah, yo, pops, he's down with a few crew that do pieces. And like, you a bomber and shit. Like, y'all ever like, yo, let's do this or let's do this together. Like, y'all got a bond like that? Nah, yeah, definitely. But um, I haven't done anything with my pops, really. I just was really influenced by his black books and stuff like that. He really into money, so he don't really be too much into graph. He was into break dancing, you feel me? Real elements. Okay, so with you saying that, in your early years, did you know automatically what and what not to do with graph, or did you actually have someone teach you besides just from what you just said, looking at black books and your pops being, being you know, the ultimate OG for you, you know what I'm saying, in in, in graph, like, like. I kind of picked up on things here and there. I started seeing little shadows, little borders, little outlines, mm-hmm. little different things, crews and shit like that. Okay. I'm looking at old school Dondi books and shit. Okay. And trains. So I'm really influenced by all them things. You feel me? That's what's up. That's peace. That's a few good people right there to be influenced by. Dondi used to murder shit, whole carts and all. That's a fact. You should like to do right Peace from the, the east. Word. Let's bust the gun for now. He's always right for that. Yo, any um any crazy shit happened to you while you was bombing? I mean, crazy shit happens every day. This shit wicked. I don't know where to get started at. Like, we chase niggas down on the regular. I swear to God. So like, this shit every day is some wicked shit. Like, it's a different story every day, man. Right? I mean, get, tell my man Poyo to get well and shit. You feel me? My man just did some crazy shit. So I hope my son get well. You feel me? Definitely. Definitely. Now, when you first started writing, was it always Zons or you had something else before that? Yeah, I definitely had a couple tags. I done ran through like two, three tags. Definitely, that's a fact. Used to write Maze, used to write Black, a couple things there. Never stuck really. I, I like Zons after a while. That's what I stuck with. Gotcha. Now, how did you pick that name? What, what's the science behind it? I mean, just from seeing my, my pop's name supposed to be Zon One, you feel me? So I just ended up writing Zon Zonster. Gotcha. So I kept it that way and shit. Alright, you carry the torch. Yeah, that's a fact. Being that your pops did graffiti, like, did he teach you the ropes or did you learn the ropes on your own? I definitely learned them on my own, man. Been booked a lot of times, B. Just learning shit, you feel me? On my own type shit. With my guys and my projects just running around trying to do different shit, you feel me? Running around the pole line, all through the junkyards, you feel me? Getting chased by niggas, running on niggas different blocks. Niggas ain't finna hear that grab shit, you feel me? Uptown niggas don't really care for that. That's definitely a fact. That's crazy you just say that because I was just about to ask you about being in graph, you know, like beef is inevitable. You know what I'm saying? It's unavoidable. You know, so I was gonna I was about to ask you about, you know, have you ever gotten into drama? But you was just saying you yeah, from being uptown. Yeah, I had a couple I ain't I'm kinda mad at you guys, man. You had a couple bozos up here talking a whole lot of fibs and shit. Them niggas up here lying, man. I'm BRTK, you heard? 3DBK, sad K, man. Let me get some gunshots, Flea. We in the building. <laughs> that was I like that energy fact. right there. I like that energy. Niggas know every time we see them, man, niggas be beating their feet. Real track stars, I swear to God, cuz. We get busy wherever we at, man. It go down, cuz. Real talk. When it comes to beef, we don't even want to talk about that. We just get to it. That's why we have this platform. Like, everybody has a story to tell, and a lot of those shits actually ain't even going to get heard. But this platform right here, like, we provide that wave. Like, some people, if you want to tell your story, you got to go by, state your name, or fuck graph. And a lot of people can't even make it on that shit. Shout so, out to them the shits right there, We man. get it popping up official. here. Them shits was definitely an influence growing up, too. Getting on YouTube, looking at state your name, and looking at um all them other graph shits, you feel me? Shits is wavy, graphaholics, all them shits, you feel me? But fuck all that beef shit. Like, what's something positive that you could say about graph? Or I, something positive that graph did for you? Like, for me, that shit got me this radio show. That's dope. I like what you guys is doing with the radio show, you feel me? I'm glad that I can assist to y'all radio show. This shit ain't really done mm-hmm. nothing positive for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm in the streets with it. This shit ain't done nothing. I've been booked 18 times. I don't really care about this, my nigga. It is what it is. I just do grab because it's shit. I get my mind off when I do this shit, you feel me? I could dig it. Now, do you see yourself possibly doing like art with this? Because we have a lot of guys who have gone from OGs that tore up New York City, tore up, you know, statewide, nationwide, and now they're, they, they've progressed to doing art shows, you know, doing the art basils and doing all these things. Yeah. With that being an example for you, do you see yourself taking this to another platform, possibly, you know, saying like, even even with just your your movement, 
expressing that on a canvas or, or exposing people to that. I mean, yeah, we definitely try to get to that. We try to do positive things. We try to do walls together and mm. stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not just into doing throw-ups. I do straight letters. I do pieces. I do a rolly. I do whatever. I'll slide off the side of a building. We got to do it. You feel me? Nice. It's just how the vibe may feel that night. You heard? For so sure. like, niggas might get smoked up and be like, yo, we out paying. I might have my fly shit on. I might right. go paying in a $5,000 fit. It's just what it's hitting for. I ain't really can. I just want to go paint. You feel me? Right, right. I hear that. How you feel like you go painting this shit, you do a rollie, you got your fresh chewy suit on, your jeans, like your new J's, and like as soon as you finish the shit, like you look at your whole outfit and your shit is just paint yeah. splattered everywhere. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even mad at it, dude. It's just what I like to do, you feel me? But I, I was tight. Matter of fact, last time we came up to the radio station, I done, I done got paint on my 40 below. Me and my son, um, mm. star go crazy. We going over here catching some tags with that fucking big ass, what you call that shit? That Mad Max shit. Oh, I done get paint really all over my though. 40 below Tim's. I'm like, damn, that shit was wicked. I got it off though. I <laughs> fucked the pants. I fucked the pair of Tim's up like that. I just brought these shit some crispy beef and broccoli. I'm rocking a fill with the kills. Those. I'm catching a fill with the kills. My man's like, yo, look at your boot. I look at the boot. That shit got a new birthmark on it. <laughs> but hey, yo, if you get paint on your clothes, they got some shit called crud cutter. That shit only costs a dollar in motherfucking Home Depot. But I know niggas be rocking shit. So if y'all niggas rocking, go get that. And I should have cleaned all your motherfucking fabric. Shout out to that, dude. Yo, but how do you feel about social media? Do you feel it affects the graph game negative or positive? I mean, it's, it's a good and a bad thing with it. That shit cool, though. You, you feel me? Like, I fuck with it. Everybody gets to get their little shine on it. You feel me? Like, it's cool. We got to deal with it. There's nothing to it. Like, we got to use it to our advantage at this point. You think the graph game would still be popping if it didn't have beef involved? Nah, the beef is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that should make this grab shit lit, you feel me? That that shit would be real calm and quiet. Like you won't be seeing none of us going over the ops. That shit'd be trash. The ops won't be going over. That shit be whack, man. So, so that, shit that shit's dope. That shit definitely brings some adrenaline to the grab shit. I fuck with it. You got any ops like you see some of their shit, you be like, damn, that nigga got a dope ass spot. Um, I won't say a dope spot, but it's a couple ops I give respect to their grab, you feel me? They penmanship, they shit may be nice and um I fuck with it. Do you but, think penmanship is key in this game? Um, I won't say it's key. I like it personally, you feel me? But there's a lot of dudes that go crazy. However they go crazy, you got to get how you live. However you write, you write, you feel me? So there's a lot of dope shit that come from the shit. Gotcha. What can you tell about a writer by looking at his hand style? No funny shit like when he may have started. I could tell maybe like, yo, this nigga just started or maybe where he live at. Like, yeah, this nigga catching mad tags around the corner. This nigga live around here. You feel me? Like, I'm going to bump into this nigga at the Ox store. Like, shit like that. <laughs> Word. I know, Regular shit. I know some niggas who've been writing 20 plus and, like, they hands start look like they just walked in the game. That's a fact. <laughs> and it be niggas like that that do crazy pieces. It's weird. So it's like, it's mad weird. You That's gotta... the bugged out shit. Like, you write your name every day. You can't write your name, but you could do a burner with all these colors and arrows. I don't understand that, man. I got free hands. We got throw ups. Like I said, street letters, everything for niggas. Wild styles, pieces, everything, B. It's the whole everything. Now, being that you're from the Bronx, who are some of the OGs that influenced you? OGs? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really got too much much OG type shit, you feel me? I seen a lot of shit on the full line, man. I don't really got too many OGs, I ain't gonna lie. Um, my, my guys, that's why I feel my OGs. I seen my guy Tavo going crazy, Halo, Star, like I said, like he's still going crazy. Like somebody stop this man, you heard? Like this shit is real, that's a fact. Like, mo mostly that, you feel me? Like, my shout out to my son, Prank. He was on the radio station, B. My son, Prank, go crazy. He's been going crazy since day one, you feel me? My son definitely go crazy. Good hands. Go wild, man. We like this shit. Uh, what don't you like about what's going on in, the, uh, in these streets these days, graph-wise? What gets on your nerves? Um... No funny shit. I'm accepting everything, man. I'm, I'm a nigga that I'm cool with the new, you feel me? I make it work mm -hmm. for me, like. So, like, all these niggas doing stickers and shit and all this internet shit, like, that's cool. Like, it is what it is. They do how they do it, you feel me? Certain niggas gonna catch feelings. Certain niggas gonna post stickers all day. Certain niggas gonna catch free hands and never catch feelings. Like, just how it is, you feel me? So, like, I accept it how it come. It's cool. So, like, would you, like, is it... Do you find yourself being in, in, in a mode of like, I'm going to be innovative with the game? Or do you just find yourself 
I'm gonna just be the nastiest at particular skill skill sets. You know what I'm saying? Like like if you're doing a throwy, I'm gonna be the nastiest throwy. Or if I'm doing a, a, a piece, you, you know what I'm saying? Being that you're saying that you dabble, you do everything. Is there something that you find is like, yo, this is my niche. Like this is what I do. I'm gonna be known for this, and I'm gonna do everything else while I'm beasting. As a fact, just really street bombing, bombing, catching feelings and shit, straight letters. That's okay. That's my shit right there. That's a fact. Catching all type of spots. We going everywhere with it. You feel me? That's what's up. Sometime a nigga be on the money timing, so I don't got too much time to paint. You feel me? But it's cool. I got a couple of my RMC guys. I send them out. They go do their thing. Shout out to my son back too. A couple of the writers in the town. You feel mm-hmm. me? They just getting up right now. They about to do their thing though. You heard? Do you, what you think about like people who only go bombing like with stickers and shit, but they don't be on social media talking like they the king or the king? Um, you think they should pick up the can? Like, do they think with the paint? I don't even pay attention too much to that. I really look at the walls when I'm driving around, when I'm on the train, when I'm walking. I really just pay attention to the walls. I see the social media. I really look at my homeboys on some asshole shit. Like, I don't really even care about these other niggas' graph like that. What's one right on the scene right now? Like, wherever you go, like, they catch your eye. What happened? Like, what's a writer on the scene right now that's out there killing shit that actually catch your eye, like, when you out there doing what you Oh, doing? my man Push is in the building that's about to come through for the next interview. He's going that's crazy out here. He's going stupid, you feel me? Give me a couple gunshots for my man Push. Man, G, girl. Yo, right that's now, I'm not going to front. You got, you are bringing the energy of that <laughs> DMX. When DMX first came out with Flex, he was like this, yo, who, who you rock with? LOX. <laughs> Who you rock with? I'm, Rough I'm Riders. Tour, like I'm you just staying on it. No, no, I feel you. I feel you. You like you like yo, F everybody else. My team is hitting. I'm repping my team. That's who I watch. Like, yo, who's the best writer? My team right there, push. You know what I mean? I respect that. That's why I see who's really going crazy. I mean, there's a couple other dudes going crazy. Shout out to them all two B niggas. They going right. dumb, you feel me? You can't go nowhere without seeing that. Shout out to them niggas, you feel me? There's a couple niggas going dumb, you feel me? Gang members though, all of them. <laughs> yeah, now, was, dude, you cruise. cruise? Yeah, it's a few crews out there killing shit at the moment. But what cruise you repping besides BMG and TSK? RMC, that's my shit right there. Respect my craft. There you go. That's a big fact. You got the yeah. guys is on that. VOP, the gang, SM, YP. It's a couple gangs, DTB. If somebody wants to get down with your crew, like, what are the requirements? I ain't gonna lie, you can't be sore. Bro. I done had to kick a couple pussy niggas out the set like I ain't even gonna mention their name. I'm right. not with it, you feel me? Cause I, I'm into a lot of shit. I can't go with you to the corner store and get ran down on it, and you not gonna be on the same type of time I'm on. Niggas talking about you was beating your feet. Nah, we standing tall, we leaving together, you feel me? Gangster. Right. I could definitely dig that shit. Would you ever put somebody down over social media? Um, over social media? Maybe if he was like from OT or some shit like that. Cause I see a lot of that shit going on. Like nigga don't know a nigga from a hole in the wall just for the fact that they see the nigga killing shit. Yo, push from, my crew. Maybe it's from OT and like niggas is connected like that, ta- connected like that type shit, like Facetime and chopping it up for real type shit. But aside from that, not really. Like I don't really want niggas in my crew. Yo, sometimes we be fucking around up here and we like to play games. Do you want to play one with us? You already know I'm down for right, my well, guys. I'm asking you some questions and you answer them shits out of rapid pace. As quick as the questions come, as quick as you give me the answer and we go to the next one. Ready? Get it. Rooftops or gates? Rooftops. Trucks or trains? Trucks. Blue Dreams or Girl Scouts? Girl Scouts. Tits or ass? Tits ass. Papers or blunts? <laughs> blunts. Big backwards, you heard? Stock caps or fat? Oh, fat caps. We go crazy with anything, though. Guns or butter? Definitely guns and butter. Scrap, <laughs> scrap yard or low brow? Um, so repeat that one more time. Scrap yard or low brow? Scrap yard. Cobras or Montanas? Um, Montanas. Wild style or Star Wars? Um, Star Wars. Well, I already know the next answer, like your answer, so I'm gonna ask it anyway though. Markers or etch? Um, etch. <laughs> you know how you coming, man? Fucking love. Black books or canvas? Black books and canvases. We get busy on everything. I, like I had to ask you that because like we had a show somewhere in the city. I ain't gonna say the location, but I stepped out for a little smoke break and shit. Like y'all niggas really taught us Starbucks a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> shit looked crazy. But yo, you got any last words or shout outs you like to get the viewers out there? 
man. Shout out to the block, man. Shout out to Rich Hills 174 University, man. Shout out to the gang on 168 in Sheridan, man. Shout out to the gang on 169 in Sheridan. Shout out to all them niggas over there on 196 in Marion, man. The gang shit, that's all. Uptown, we in the building, man. Yo, I like to shout I like to shout out Zons for coming through tonight, bringing his peoples with him. Shout out to everybody who's looking at this motherfucking show right now, but we about to take a short music break with DJ Swift. When we come back, we gonna make some more history. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We that way. Yo, it's poppin', Vandals. We back in the motherfucking building. We got a brother who comes from the streets of Flatbush, and he goes by the name of DeVere, and he's gonna tell you something about his brand called Cop My Music. You heard? Hey, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. DeVere, what's poppin', my dude? What's good, fam? What's going on? Hey, shit, I'm Cool Oxen. How you feeling tonight? I'm good tonight, man. Yo, you pay attention to basketball? Oh, definitely. How you feel about oh, the Knicks trading Carmelo? Carm- I think it's a good thing. He need to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> You think, you think nah, nah, it? Carmelo is dope though. I, I think yeah. he's gonna do his, do good on OKC. You know, they got a nice squad over there. I mean, Carmelo's he, dope though. He did good before he got, he he got no, but he got good chemistry over there. He, he, you know, he not a leader to be over here with the Knicks. He need to lead like a LeBron. He not like he not that that person. But to be a role player with Westbrook and what's homeboy other name over Paul there? George, Paul, Paul George. Paul George, yeah, right? Yeah. He'll be a good role player over there. He's nice. <laughs> that that West Coast, Coast is deep, two man. First names. Huh? That I West said Coast that's Coast fucked deep. up. Son got two first names. <laughs> yeah, oh, Paul George? Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful with them niggas. Yeah, you yeah. never trust a man with two first names. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? No, I don't that's know. What that's what they that, say, that's though. That's what they say. That's the saying. That's <laughs> some fucked up shit. That's what they say. You think yeah. the Knicks ever going to get that ring? No time soon. No time soon. Exactly. Yeah. They, they made it worse for themselves by trading them. But no time yeah. soon. I, I, it's too our starting right five's now. looking like a B league. Yeah, definitely. The what? The starting the, five. Yeah, they look like yeah, they suspect. they suspect. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> I actually don't look at basketball. <laughs> now you gotta look at basketball. Though. I now haven't looked suspect. at that shit since Jordan played. The last game oh, I probably okay. looked at when Curry was in a motherfucking shootout. I know you watch Curry though. That the only time I actually looked at a Curry game is because I was locked up and I ain't had nothing else oh. to do. You either look at TV or play with your chicken. <laughs> but that's on the yeah, You see, you see, Curry, uh, Trump just shitted on Curry though. Told him can't yeah. come to the White House. Well, well Curry Trump didn't want to go Curry anyway. Didn't wanna no, he didn't want to go. Anyway. It doesn't count. It, yeah. the, the invitation don't count it if you re- count. if you reneged it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The White House don't even want Trump in the White House. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but on another note, can yes, you explain to our viewers what's cop my music? Yo, yo, cop my music. It's the new wave in hip hop, man. We represent for the unsigned artists. We got the hottest new web- website on the on the on the net. Got the new platform. You know, we doing something different. We could get into it, but yeah, we doing something different for the artists, man. Yeah. So, what are some of the services you offer to the artists? I mean, first of all, we offer the we we we, we sell subscriptions to the site. You know, okay. so we could we host your music, we host your videos, we help put it out. You know, I know it's got some websites doing it, but we kind of combine everything as a one stop shop. Other than that, we taking it outside of the internet and putting niggas really in the clubs and shit like that in front of people and doing it with real art, mainstream artists and shit. So when you say you sell subscriptions, is that right. to the artists or the people who are it's, looking at the No, website? it's to the artists, you know, it, it, it costs to put your music up, to host your music, gotcha. you know, to, we, we got to pay for services, so we, we host their music mm-hmm. and their videos on the net. And shit what like that. what yeah. type of services, though? Sur- we, I mean, the mixtapes, singles, videos, things like that, things that artist uh market what do you mean to like some of the like the vivos and the no 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 like if you was an artist putting your shit out Uh you know if you wanted to drop a mixtape on that piff Mm -hmm. or you wanted to put a video on world star we combine both of those services and put it Mm -hmm. on copmymusic.com so why should an artist select cop my music versus going direct to that piff i mean one because of what i said we combine both services you know nobody really doing it like that Mm-hmm. Other than that, we really working with the artists. We take them from the internet, from the p- building a page up to putting them in front of mainstream artists or t- putting them in um, on platforms like like Club Angels, things like that. Okay. Okay. So, okay. We really, so we so really, you, we moving with them. So you building that bridge of actually going from right. a social media or or online artist to an actual tangible artist where people can actually tangible. see you, see get em, your work, get em. your merch, whatever exactly. it is, they can actually reach out right. and be a face to face with you. you, you know 
know there's no more artist development with the labels, you know. Yeah. So hey, we kind of we, we step in. I came to crash the party, yo. Who are some of the artists that you're working with on Cop My Music besides Twan the Dude? I mean, we got Dami, we got CEO Kasai, we got D Billa, we got a lot of artists. You know, it's they 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 underground right now. Their names ain't up like that right mm-hmm. now, but we got a we got a lot of artists. If you ever we do Rap Mania where we we bring our whole infrastructure into I the strip club yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we take over the club when we come in we have about 10 15 artists were well, right. you in now the industry us, before uh, this no i was in the streets okay, okay. <laughs> was it in the industry <laughs> he was in the streets yeah i was really in the streets now you were but talking I, you know, about I got the passion for rap mania what exactly yes. is rap mania rap mania is when we actually go to the to a live club strip club we bring about 10 15 artists with us let it, we take over the club, have the artists perform the actual song. We don't disrupt the flow of the club, but we have them come in, perform. We got the lights, the cameras, action is going on while they performing to get their name out, get their songs popping, you know, to establish something, you know. If I'm That's not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, have y'all worked out in, in Queens with like Heavens, Angels? Oh, we did all Queens. You we done did those, Queens, yeah, because I'm, Jersey, I'm familiar that. with, with, yeah. with Rap Mania, with, with the name of Rap Mania, right. and I remember. There was a good circuit period of, of when you was having artists. They would literally come up throughout the night. Literally, as as the DJs are changing, you get artists that are coming up, performing exactly. a song. Exactly. And, and, and they get to either showcase. A lot of times they were showcasing dancers as well for like their video shoot. It was like exactly. you got a video shoot exactly. while performing the with the girls package. right there without exactly. having to go, go do a separate you, you, event. Yeah, you can shoot your whole video of one shot right there in the club. And we also, you know, we're, we're, we're booked, we're book, <laughs> we booked um, like mainstream DJs, DJ Self, DJ right. Envy, DJ Enough. We'll bring a, even an eye candy, hip hop, Sophia the Body, right. come represent okay. us. We, we bring a whole package with us. You have a Buff Buddies body? I wish I would. <laughs> Yo, I can't nice. let my girl hear that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to attack the strip clubs and do your market instead of going to a regular club? Shit ain't popping in a regular club. You're going to get your reggae, you know, you're going to get that all popped off and all that. But the, for the hip-hop, everything is moving through the strip club. Everybody right. going to break, see those ass break, and yeah, titties. Yeah, to see, you know, this is what, this the vision they have in their head when they're watching a video on, on TV. This is what they want to see. So this is what they, we bringing it live to them. This is what they want to do. Plus a lot of people are making basically strip club music. And so it's like, it if, strip, you're, strip clubs if your music, music. Ain't, ain't, ain't popping in the strip club, ain't going. Because I work in strip clubs like right. on, a, on a regular basis. Like I was saying earlier, I've done almost all the clubs that you worked at right. uh, with Rap Mania. I remember when Tantrum and, and some of these guys over at Heavens was yeah. coming up with their like nine, nine DJ roster. It, it looked right. like it looked like it was a, a DJ show, but it was an actual hip hop show. But um, even with that, like like like, how has the movement been? So if what you that? do though when you work in a strip club? Because you keep saying this, I work in a strip club. Shit. Listen, I when I'm in a strip a club, I'm always singing. calling <laughs> girls. I'm li- literally I, I I call the girls to the stage. I'm playing, and I've done that's events the DJ. Like that. That's the job for the DJ. That's yeah, what he right. doing in a strip you club. T- though you could tell yeah. by his voice. No, but our viewers like they like he keeps saying he work in a strip club. Like we know that because we fuck with him. But our viewers don't like. So they looking at what the fuck he mean he work in a strip club? Like what he do there? Listen, y'all can find me at Hoops Cabaret G Plug on 33rd Street and Sixth Avenue right next the ricks and y'all could come and i do football sundays and friday night so he multi yo swift i'm gonna ask you this while you was spending on the wheels and stills and shit you ever seen a stripper with a stick yeah what kind of stick would you tell Not, oh wait <laughs> that, that's it <laughs> nah i've seen a chick on a period i've seen a chick with a period that's why and she's had that stick Got him. Yeah, wow. Stick, wow, I wasn't talking about that. Stick. Not that kind of strip club. We don't do those kind of strip clubs. No, well, not know, that one right well, you there. Know, back, you know, back to um, <laughs> Cop My Music. That yeah, back to Cop My Music. When, yes. When an <laughs> artist wants to work with you, is there a certain criteria you use to pick the artist that you want to work with? Now we give them a shot. You know what I'm saying? It's up to them, to their talent level, you know, if the people feeling them or not, that's on them. But gotcha. well, we'll give them a shot. Yeah. The people ain't feeling them, then that's on them, you know? Now, I see you and Twan to do. Y'all got a pretty cool chemistry. How did y'all connect? Oh, we go way back, you know. Me like and Twan- a red and black lumberjack? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me and Twan go way back, you know. I seen his grind. I seen him coming up in the streets. He seen what I'm doing. We said, you know what, we could put this together and move in the same direction. So we got a good chemistry right now. How did you come up with the concept for Cop My Music? I mean, cop my music is something something that every every artist say 
after they performance. As soon as they finish their performance, the last thing they say is, yo, cop my music, go to iTunes, whatever, cop my music, you know? So I thought it was a good concept to make a website out of, you know, to have people come actually purchase or, or, or download music. I actually have people run down on me in the streets and shit like, yo, cop my music. And I be telling them like, yo, you want your music to get burned right now? Send that shit to my motherfucking Gmail, the Vandal Hour. Right. Some of them do, some of them don't. I guess they be thinking I'll be bullshitting. Now, <laughs> now, a lot of them niggas be bullshitting. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. they be selling niggas blank CDs. Yeah. They, yeah. they just try to get their hustle up. Yeah, Paying $5 man. for a dummy. That's why I love the flash drives. I, if it's crap, I erase it and I use it for other transfers exactly. of music. Exactly what you want to do. Uh, exactly. Do you feel that the internet helps? or hindered the music industry oh that's a good question because um it, it definitely hindered the paper because they ain't selling the records they used to sell but you could mm -hmm. get the product out faster right you know so in that aspect with the uh, financially they it fucked them up okay you know the last last big album that sold multi-platinum was like lloyd banks you know after that everybody was a everybody dud tanked. wow yeah Business-wise or industry-wise, who's who inspires you? Oh uh, man, I, uh, I, everybody. Uh, I go way back. I'm an old school nigga, but I listen to the new school. So I go, I go back. Big L. I go back before that. You run DMC nice. and all that. You know, uh, Cool G rap, high school shit like that. I'm mm -hmm. from Brooklyn, Flatbush. You know, grew up in Brownsville. So I got a lot of inspiration when it comes to this sure. hip hop thing. Jay Z. So when Biggie. you're considering the kind of music for your company, right? How 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 is that being that you have this background? No, I listen. Older than what's happening now. Right, I like what's happening now. The new school is dope. You know, they you, you gotta you gotta progress with this hip hop thing. So I like what the new school is doing. You know, some of them a little funny style with the dressing and all that. But yeah, that shit right. is out of this universe. <laughs> you know. Yo. If you had a chance to sit in the car with Biggie or Pac before they got popped, I met it? I met both of them by the way. All right, well oh, if man. they were still yeah, here on Earth, what song them. would you play for them? From, uh, from Biggie, it kick could be either in the industry or from Cop My Music. Like, what Biggie, song would you play uh, for them? Biggie, and why? Biggie kicking the door, waving the four four. That you know, I was in the streets at that time. That kind of inspired me to do a lot of foolishness at that time. But that's what I would play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You would nah, play Biggie kicking the kickin door the for door, Biggie. Wave it, wave, yeah. Now, now, how did you actually meet Biggie? I met I met him actually. Um, Special Ed had a studio on uh, Utica Avenue, and Big used um, Special Ed used to do their pr um, production. So I, I met the whole Junior Mafia special ed and all of them. It was called the Dollar Cab Lab. You know, okay. we, we got, we got a chance to build that. like that. Yeah. Did you so, have to pay a dollar to get in the lab? Nah. Not, you know, nah, you just had to take a dollar cab to get in the lab. That's you right. know, you know, I'm going to ask you now, how did you get with special ed? How did, how, how did you link up with that? Being that you like, well, I was with special ed when, you know, Biggie and Junior Mafia. Yeah, definitely. Special ed, me and him went to high school together. We okay. went to Erasmus. All right, you know, so right. We we connected. Then we still cool to this day. I still get up with Special Ed. Still a good, good good brother of mine. Yeah. When he comes in town, and he's when performing. He comes in town, yeah, he invite so me out to his performances so and shit like that. Y'all linked up like I think he was out here like about a month month and a half ago for for like uh, one of the performances in the park. Yeah, yeah right. He was uh, out when, here Wingate Park. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah he was out park, here like yeah. a month ago. Yeah, so. he, he hit me up when he come to town. We get up, you know. I come check him out. That's my good. That's my dude right there. Is he still doing any new music? Is he working on anything? Not or that I, not that I know of. I know he's still making a killing off his old music, so I don't know about the new one. You know, he's still getting booked yeah, and when shit you met, like that. When you met Tupac, was this before Death Row? Yeah, it was before Death Row. He, Tupac was still cool with um with Puff Daddy and shit. Oh wow! Yeah, I, I met him in a uh, supper club in New, okay. in uh in, in Manhattan. That's a throwback. Supper yeah, club, man. supper club. I was I was a young dude too. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I was in there. I was with my brother, and he was, she was like, "Yo, let's go say what's up to Pac." And at that time, you know, Pac was a wild nigga in the street. And I'm like, "Yeah, nah, I don't think we should do that." <laughs> you know, but we he, he convinced me. We went over to Pac, said what's up to him. Pop show he showed wild love, embraced us, you know. So we it was a good it was a good experience. And that's dope. Definitely got to meet two legends. Yeah, got game. got to meet hey Jay Z too. So yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Now now being that you you've met a couple of these people, who are some of the artists that you worked with in the past? Never did real work. This this part of right now, I'm really coming out into the music game, setting up the website. You know, got a lot of my. Uh, connects from back in the days, just putting it all together. But right now, I'm moving forward with the music now. Gotcha. So, where do you see your company in the near, in the near future? I mean, I see it's progressing. You know, uh, I see um, 
I see the CD wave is dying out. I see you gotta have your I music on. Dead. Yeah, it's dead. The shit is dead. But you gotta have your music online. You gotta have it streaming. We got a streaming service, so that's part of what we're doing. So okay. I see it's really blowing up in the near future. Now I hear you said your CDs are dead, but I heard that vinyl was actually making a comeback. Do you guys ever think about doing some vinyl? Not us, but yeah. you know, I think for um, I don't know, maybe maybe not us, but it, vinyl is cool. I think it's like a little a little market for it, but not not for us. Gotcha. Yo, a lot of entrepreneurs in this game, like some of them are one hit wonders, but what makes Cop Mom Music successful? We not an artist. We, we, we moving <laughs> like a label. We online. You know what I'm saying? We not an artist. We pushing the music. You know, we getting the music out there. We getting the product to the people. That's why we're going to be so successful. If somebody wanted to come in the game because they seen the things that you're doing, what are some words of advice that you would give them? Make, some, make the hottest music possible. If you want to blow up fast, you make the hottest music possible. Bobby Smurda is a good example. Um, Young and May, designer. They made one hits. They blew, the, blew up. You can't take that back from them. Now they off with their career. And they all talented, you know. But you got you to gotta aim for the best. You can't make, make mediocre music. It, it ain't no room for that. Yeah. It's, it's too much talent out here. If y'all are going to come in the music world, please don't take the Bobby route. You see where he at. <laughs> Free that man, no. Now we, yeah. now we recently seen a picture of you with Benzino. Are you guys working on a project together? Yeah, yeah. Well, Benzino it was a plug through Twan to do. You know, we, we all working together. It was a good plug. They got a dope new song together that they pushing. I right. just put. I, yeah. I, just, I just played that joint just right played about that. now. That shit yeah. was hard. Snap. Yeah. You got the exclusive. That's what that soundtrack and everything like that. No. You I, know, go ahead. I'm sorry. How did that come about? You know, Twan is affiliated with uh, with um, Benzino. You know, they got chemistry together, so they linked up and put it together. You know, that's how that worked. Who made that beat? Because that shit is type crap. That's just Benzino beat. That's his people. All right. Yeah. Now, that's this one guy. might sound outlandish and shit. How many Benzes do Benzino got? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know about that, but the boy's paper is heavy. I can tell you that. Yeah, he got that source money. Benzino yeah. is popping. If you're looking at the yeah. vandal, I would come fuck with us. Yeah, we that way. Nothing but respect for Benzino. You're a good dude. Yeah, I fuck he, with him. He got that source money. I know. I don't know if he's still working with Hip Hop Weekly, but I yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. still fucking with him. Yeah, he's okay. definitely in the game. Yeah, I seen him on Love and Hip Hop one night. Yeah. Business wise or industry wise, does anyone inspire you? Of course. You know, I look up to all the all the greats that did it from Russell Simmons, Pete Diddy, you know, even Jay Z, you know, they this the business sense from even fifty cent, you know, he he he, oh, he crushing it right he now. He crushing it and he was a real goon in the street, you know. And he, to, to see where he elevated from, from the, from the hood of Queens to what he's doing right now, you see him with all the actresses and all the models yeah, and shit like that. I was just about to get into that. You see right. how he waving, like first he came out with power, now he got this new shit on BT called right. 50 Central. 50, 50 Central. Yeah. And he getting ready to drop the BMF story. Yeah, yeah he's he's I was just looking that. at that and shit. He had some producer trying to holler at that he want him to produce it. Right. That nigga was chilling with motherfucking Rocky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see that, right? Yeah, that shit was hard as yeah, fuck right so there. He making moves. Those nah. the dudes like that inspire me, man. That's dope. That's you and me both, cause they started out selling the crack rock. Now they on the top. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They broke into that corporate money. That's why I don't know how niggas be hating on Jay Z. Like that man should inspire you. This nigga started out on a motherfucking park bench with a flat top, a rope chain, and a velour yeah, shirt. Yeah, but not, not, now, now he's telling you to fix your credit. I think it's a little too late for that. He'd already fucked niggas credit up. Now, but now I fuck with Jay. He ain't fuck niggas credit up. Niggas yeah. fucked up they their credit. Up. Yeah, yeah all for his shit. Platinum this and platinum that. They had niggas buying crystal and bullshitting in the club. So I was one of them, so I could speak on it, you know. <laughs> but I fuck with Jay-Z. My credit good now, though. I fuck with him. See? Credit. <laughs> <laughs> you evolved. You evolved. I evolved, yeah. <laughs> Now my cop, cop my music .com, You sell music on there. Do you guys? No, nah, no. Nah, uh, we we do it's, it's download streaming. Download yeah, download, the streaming. Oh, download yeah, streaming. Yeah. Okay. So besides the download streaming, do you plan on breaking into anything else? Like maybe doing movies or videos? That's what I was gonna ask. I mean, it, it could it could evolve into something like that. But right now we just focused on the download and the streaming and the, and the videos. So yeah. are you contending sure. like with Spotify's, the Spotify's and the? Right, we're streaming service. Okay. So we contending with okay. them. You know, okay, I mean, right now we for the underground, you know, people not getting their music heard, shit like right, that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So really the subscriptions are for the artists, but not necessarily the listeners? Right, they're for the artists. Okay, so. The listeners could come on and download and stream for free. So, oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. nice. Okay. That's okay. nice. Now, now, do you All have right. an app that goes with that? The app is coming soon. Okay. The app is coming soon. So, so for the artists, 
is that are they getting um, credits for the streams? Are they getting? Is it? Is it? Well, being it's it's yes. Yeah, being tallied, you can you can see their views and their hits and their plays. Uh -huh. All of that is tallied on their music page. Mm -hmm. We create custom music pages also. Okay. So whatever your artwork is, we put that up. Make you make your page look nice, mm -hmm. and also it tally up. You put your playlists up there for multiple mm -hmm. either singles or multiple mixtapes, and also um, to, to tally up the views and the, and the streams. Splits. And the royalty splits. No, I don't get. I, I'm just do subscriptions. So nah, whatever I, they make, okay. that's on them. They make. So it's 100 percent royalties to the artist. To the artist, I, okay. get, I don't. I don't get involved with that. Okay. So My if, G. if they steal somebody's song and they're getting sued, I don't right. get involved with that right, either. Right, right, you know. Right, My G. Right, before right. we end yes, this so. epic interview, like you know, a lot of entrepreneurs. Yes. They go off and like they start in a fashion world. Like, is that something you would do? Definitely. That is a big money in there. You know, if you just you just can't be in one lane. If you if even if you're an artist. If you if you look at the best artists, they evolved through other businesses. Right. You know what I'm saying? Jay ain't get the way he was just by, from being a rapper. You know, Nas is really developing his business skills right now, it, uh, dipping into the uh, the, uh, the 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 um, food and in, uh, industry like that now. You know what I'm saying? But in order to evolve as an artist, you got to touch different businesses. You know, such as clothing. So no, I see you I actually had that. some T-shirts that you put out. Yeah, I got some T-shirts. I brought some for y'all. You know, oh, that's what's up. I got the Cop My Music brand. It's, it's called the Stars with Bars. So that's what we represent. You know, if you look yeah. behind us, Twan and my boy Stretch, they got the Cop My Music T-shirts on. Definitely see yeah. that. So we're going to get those to y'all. And you can cop those at the website. You can go on the website, cop them, and uh, pay for them right there. You, know? hey, you might see me rocking yeah. mines this Tuesday at the Lord Sword or the Art Smith going down in the motherfucking Karma Lounge. I state facts. That shit going to be epic. If y'all niggas think y'all got bars, motherfucking pull up. And if you don't got bars, you still need to pull up because you can learn a motherfucking lesson. <laughs> I state facts. <laughs> Yeah, now I actually met Twan at the at the last we lost with Art Smith. He was uh one of our guest judges. judges. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Twan is dope. He's the next one to blow. You know, no and rainbow. No, <laughs> nah, Twan is Twan is dope, man. And get, like I said, he got he, he coming up. He got he got songs with Benzino. Yeah. You know, he did uh with Bone Crusher and Young Greatness. He he moving. We just did the video in Atlanta with um what's guns uh what's his name what's what's homie name Twan. In Atlanta. Bone Crush, yeah, that, that's the joints we had played when when he had yeah. came up the last time. Yeah, yeah. I got a couple it's of those joints. It's gonna be crazy. That's where my people's actually met Honey De Niro at, and she tore the stage down from what I heard, and she was at the Lost Artsman. She's gonna be at she the Lost Art. She's gonna yeah. tear the stage down at the next Lost. Uh, lost art of the word Smith. I'm in a zone right oh, now. I was fucking with Dre vape pen. <laughs> 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 Those vape pens are lethal, man. <laughs> but honey, tell the people something that they that they could expect when they see you on that stage doing your damn thing. You're gonna see a different energy. Like there's no laid back. It's my voice is different. You just gonna see something crazy. And if somebody what? wanted to cop your music, where well, they could do that at? Hey, yo, Swift, you on fire, nigga? Honey, no. what the fuck is going on over there? I just think this nigga smoke. <laughs> Um, HoneyDenero.com. Everything is on there. My website is lit. I got everything. You heard her. Her website is lit, yeah. and that's a fact. I'm gonna yeah. check that shit out later tonight. <laughs> and then, and then we also got. I'm gonna be there at the Lost Art of Wordsmith as well. DJing, holding it down. DJ Swift here. We're gonna be having a great time over there. You know what I mean? We're gonna be seeing Honey. We gonna we got a few more artists coming through. I'm gonna just save that for y'all this week. You know what I'm saying? We got great things. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, um, do you got any new projects that are coming out on CopMyMusic.com that we could look forward to? New project? I mean, we got talent hitting us every day. We got content coming in. Yeah. You know, we got new. I couldn't even tell you right now because it's, it's so much hitting us, you know, that we put up we put up uh, music daily, music and videos daily. So okay. you would just have to monitor the site and just check it out. Got you. Yes. I'm definitely going to check that out. You know I am as a DJ. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm gonna get up on there. Swift is always checking sign out. I ain't gonna front. Homie light is bright as Dre shit. That shit blind <laughs> and I nigga back here. Hey, yo, I like to thank everyone for coming out tonight, pulling up, bringing their motherfucking friends with them, telling them to look at this motherfucking epic ass show that's on motherfucking DTF radio. But I like to give a shout out to my motherfucking gang, gang, gang. Hey, yo, shout out to Mark DTF. Shout out to my nigga Popo DTF. Che DTF. Mr. 13, shout out to everybody who got a motherfucking show on DTF Radio. We are the motherfucking wave. We are the blueprint 
to this motherfucking radio show and see y'all niggas who be cheating out of cheating us out of those motherfucking awards we coming for your neck <laughs> i state facts but make sure y'all catch us next sunday from motherfucking 12 to 2 he got we off this he got it yeah 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 you nailed yeah, it yeah. <laughs>